The laning stage is gonna go Ricky. Choose your hero. Ariki! Ariki Maru! So even if I mean you miss on the sentry now, you know they're not gonna get this lane ward, but at least it will give them an opportunity to pull back. So Somnus should have a pretty good matchup versus the Ember. They'll probably just harass toe to toe. Karkar actually inks well. Auntie the tower. The damage here on the Lena. <laughs> Stun to return it actually. We'll be able to get first blood. Slark will trade here. Oli stacking up the poison as well. FY might be able to find him. It looks like he will be able to. Has the tank a regem. Makes sense with the higher gun, but they still got the slow and Somnus with the remnant up in a couple of seconds. But looks like Emo is going to be fine. It's a self. They are going to pop it though. That's pretty nice. Half HP. Kind of wants to finish off this bottle. X Nova. They're going to try and find Karka on the back line. Looks like X Nova though does drop beforehand. So they'll trade one for one. Both the cores getting a couple of kills. Emo level 8 has got an arcane rune to try and work out with as well. They do have the dust, the most important thing, however. Radiant, they do have a sentry. Is it going to help out, however? Tricks of the trade. They've used the dust, but the chain's going to hold him in. JT's able to get the call as well. Arme fall incredibly low. Do they have the follow up rune? The answer is yes. JT, another call for him. 3 0 early on for the axe. It's a really good start. Or three points in the essence, so his harass potential on the centaur is through the roof. But Chellis is able to just kind of get the farm now that he's a higher level and fall back. But might just see him go from lane to jungle and not really be able to do too much, however. I'm gonna try and take a fight hit bot here. Does have Stampede available for the outpost control. Looks like Centaur actually cancelled the TP now with the Stampede. They're gonna be able to find Emo to pull back. They're able to blow up the Ember before the remnant. And now JT's got the movement speed on the back line. Purge gonna come through, gonna try and get a return kill onto the Shadow Demon. It will be able to. Do they have the damage for the Axe Helvo? Blink track forward, Ricky. So by now, linked up with the Wyvern and the lean up, but is it enough? Somnus slow on mana. Arme still in the area. They don't have the numbers right now. Looks like X Nova's gonna try and get the outpost too, but Firefly is directly on top of him. Nowhere to cancel this. Looks like he will still end up falling, but at least they don't get any of the outpost experience, so. The good thing about LGD, at least they have this Centaur Wall Runner, you know, with the Retaliate. It's definitely going to be a, a super good tool for them. They're trying to set up Somnus. Ready? Do you have a Sentry on the back line? So Karka's going to get scouted now. So I have three heroes in numbers down bot. Karka's going to try and turn around, but there we go. The Purge forward. The Soulbind in the back line. Witch's Curse is going to provide them a little bit of space, but Chalice is going to follow up with the Stampede. However, Hoofstomp will only be able to find one. Fly, fly. Still got to be careful. Look at the Vortex, and they drag him back. No Pounce or Shadow Dance coming through from Fly, fly. Just didn't get the abilities off fast enough. And now, I thought you got bonus regen with the Cloak and Dagger. I mean, I'll, I'll have to take a look at Ricky after this, because I honestly I have not seen the hero in so long, but... Going forward, but fine, Chelsea. Nice initiation from JT, they're on the hunt for more, however. FY, can't get the disruption protection off, and now X is going to get chased potentially underneath the tier 2 tower. JT, with a blink, up in a couple of seconds here. He's going to try and trick out through the trees, but the Grim Show is going to end up having the same fate as his rest of the fellow teammates. Nice reveal of the Blink Dagger, and JT is honestly having an incredible game right now on the Axe. You know, he's also going Blade Mail, which is not an item we see too much anymore on the on the Legions or the Axe. And this is kind of, I wonder why we don't see the heroes as much, because the BKB, of course, stopping that Blade Mail damage. JT. Dust if he's wary. Chalice is going to TP forward. Doesn't have the blink just picked up at the moment. They're going to try and get the outpost beforehand. They will be able to. Garnier in spawning shortly. They do have the soulbind available. Chalice going to get controlled with the stampede. Won't be able to disengage. However, the curse in the back line. JT ready and waiting with the call. Finds two. Finds a Ricky as well. Summers in the back line, but has no protection. He's going to try and sit forward and find the leader for the con brace. He's still got the magic damage, but the roots going to hold him in place. He can't get the vault remnant. LGD, they lose four. An incredible setup from Evictus Gaming. The curse to start allows JT to get on top. It's not like a core where you can just go like Scardy Satanic. You don't have that same luxury, unfortunately. You need a bunch of intel items to have the hero starts to play out. But I know Ricky's on the wave. I'm trying to trick out further to the north. He's also going for a Battle Fury, so Ricky. They do have a sentry if Oli wants to drop it here. Army still holding in. 
reading with the rotations, however, Chalice just got the blink, but it is on cooldown, unfortunately. The remnant four, they're gonna be able to find Rick in the back line with the fusal blade slow. Holding emo in place. JT is only gonna be able to find one, but it's important here with the Ricky disruption save. Keeps him alive. Black one in the back line as well. They find Karkar to start the fight. Emo is still incredibly weak, but he should be able to run it away. A one for nothing in the meantime, but they get the curse. Grimshaw is going to get control with the Soulbind on cooldown now. Flyfly Fly trying to stack up the Essence, gets on top of the Centaur, but OGD, do they want to commit over to him? Hoof Stomp, perfect shadow there, timing out with JT, finds two on top of the Creep Wave as well. X Nova, full incredibly low, the Stick Charge, not going to be enough. The Cull will be able to bring him down, and our Somnus doesn't have any mana as well. Tricks of the Trade, they'll pull him back. Spark, Fly Fly, is it enough? Pounce up to the north, is going to be able to stay alive. Somnus, nice Duke as well, but it looks like Emo's got the four. A two man change, JT, can he get in range it looks like the slides going to be able to bring down the storm somehow still armies alive but jt once again the cores have been on point from the axe what more can they find though they're hunting fy oh jt may have just got vision here blink on cooldown though doesn't have too much mana and now it feels like they might just get blown away like ricky feels like this hero just needs to kind of snowball like you don't flash farm and once you start falling behind, you are very, very squishy. So him going this Battle Fury out is merely just for farming. But find the Grimshaw, step forward, JT. Pretty low, however, Summer's going to be careful if Dyer have the fall of the Con Embrace. Provides him a little bit of protection. Curse in the back line as well. It's going to allow Flyfly Fly to close the distance, however. They do find JT. Chalice as well. Going to try and get the catch on the support with the counter initiation. So it's not there in time. Shadow Dance. Slark. With the buybacks coming through. Will be forced to disengage. Oh, mate. Able to find that Winter Wyvern on the retreat. Starks to be careful. Deals with the Phantom. They don't have the vision. Unfortunately, in the meantime, Charles doesn't want to opt for the initiation of them retreating. But a two for two. Somnus does have this Bloodstone completed, though. Surprised he's got the Imp Claw instead of the Riki. But they're trying to bait across in the meantime, mid lane. However, Chalice will get found. Has the stampede, but the stun lock is going to prevent this from coming through. A nice catch from Dyer. Eight permanent Agi now. Oh, Ember. Be careful. He's actually going for his own bloodstone blink forward. Armies going to be fine. Stuck in the trees with the tricks of fate. However, it looks like they'll turn their attention to X Nova. Sacrifice. Well worth it, however. At least they keep Armie alive. They are still hanging around mid. LSA, Laguna Blade is enough burst, however, they got the save potential coming through with the disruption, F1 in the back line, where's the additional follow power, gets out of vision, another sentry is going to get dropped, it looks like Arme, Flyfly Fly pops the BKB, but a blink on the back line won't be able to protect the Ricky, now Flyfly, Fly, he wants more permagium with the BKB protection, he's going to be able to grant this up to 10 now. From the Ember, but in the meantime though, IG, that net worth lead still continuing to slowly increase 9,000 at the moment from them. They're going to smoke up, however, Somnus. Grouped up with four. They don't have army. Has committed for the battle through for the Blink Forward. JT's going to be able to find two. Die have a really good observe ward stuck in the trees. Have destruction protection. Fly Fly with the BKB is going to try and find the central wall runner stacking up the essence. Brady, do they really want to take the fight? However, Link up on the back line. A lot of damage for the curse is going to prevent the fall power with this Somnus. Half HP managed to work around with this wall with the core. JT will be able to lock him down. Smoke stops the follow up. Somnus rooted up. They got the crit coming through as well with the pounce. Where's more? Looks like FY. Chalice hanging the area, two man hoof stomp. Like the buyback coming through, long Z4, the damage as well. Somnus gonna be able to find one, make it a second as well. And now Emo gonna try and disengage with the TP up, but they got the vortex to be able to cancel this one. He will get brought down. Ollie, Fly Fly on the retreat, but they're not gonna be able to make it. Chalice once again. Glimmer Cape protection, but it doesn't matter. They buy back on Somnus, but he gets a lot of bloodstone charges out of it. Somnus will make it back. That ward almost enough. Wow. Level 20 though. And for the attack speed. Ricky as well. The blink strike. They're gonna take a fight top though. Smoke screen gets dropped. Ready. They control the outpost in the meantime. Are there any rotations coming through? Chalice with the control. They're gonna be able to blow up the Emma's group. That's it forward as well. Dire. They're not grouped up. There's no reinforcements right now for Axe. LGD. They're able to find two. Incredible for them. Some big kills. Axe and Ember. Over 2,000 gold swing.
They're still holding this Somnus dieback as well, remember. And if they can get the Aegis on him, Storm Spirit is by far the best Roshan Aegis carrier in the game. They'll buy back on the Ember. They need to hold this. I don't think they had a sentry down. I think it was just an observer. So Radiant don't know. And Somnus actually might have got scouted out. It wasn't on the higher gun with that smoke, but die. They're not grouped up. Oli. He's got a TP available. They're going to try and catch Emo mid with a Vortex Initiation. Chalice have to follow up, and it looks like they will be able to find the Ember Spirit once again. Dead for a hundred. That's a dieback. Emo, he tried to protect the Roche with the buyback coming through, but now... FY. Don't scout it out right now in the trees. They're going to see him at the last second. JT has the Blink available. We'll be able to find him in the higher gun, but Radiant... There's the protection coming through. Fly with the pounds from downtown. Long as port, Somnus needs to try and deal with the Winter Wyvern, but the, the cape's going to give him some protection. Chalice once again, a three-man stun. Falling incredibly low. However, look at the curse right before the Winter Wyvern does end up falling. Somnus with the BKB. He's getting kited. Doesn't get anything out of this. Somehow, Chalice is able to stay alive. However, JT with the reinitiation, they'll find the Grimstroke. Protection from FY isn't enough, however. There was a buyback coming through. Now, Somnus got a little bit of mana to work around with, however. Arme heal shop to the fight. A fine Karka. But Dyer, they're going to smoke up. They don't have any vision on the bot side at the moment. Unless the Ricky does show on top of the lane here, but they're going to be careful. Radiant, they're going to play on their high ground. Oh, oh, Somnus, they'll find him. Zip away, we'll be able to give him some protection. Shadow Demon's going to be fine with the BKB. He's got the disruption, going to keep him live out with the pullback curse. Holding two of them in place, however, the BKB from Somnus going to completely cart it out here, but doesn't matter. Die, full incredibly low. The Cone of Race isn't enough protection. They'll bring him down with the magic damage. Three dead from Dyer. Army's oh, got the follow up with that TP. Now Somnus is on the hunt for some more. Karka, defensive fuel scepter, but it doesn't matter. All of a sudden, LGT, they've turned this game around. I mean, the only initiation you find there is the Shadow Demon, an incredible zip from the Storm Spirit. And we're going to keep reiterating that because when he does die, he's going to be dead for a long period of time. But now he'll get the Ages. By far the best Ages carrier in the game. Does, do they give it to Ricky? What? Really? Radiant, they're gonna start being able to control the map you know, with this gem picked up, and I wonder if Dial go for an instant gem. They might... I think they'll have gem back in stock by now. They got it a lot earlier. Is it bold? Who they find? It's gonna be Emo! Uh oh, oh, Emo, Emo. Three Bloodstone charges. Yikes. Winter Wyvern, you're gonna be food for the storm here. This is the key target for the Storm Spirit, finding Oli before he gets to that initiation. They'll send Chalice to the higher gun with the Retaliate, and that return damage. Linford. Gonna slowly try and get the Essence here, but there goes Somnus. Gonna try and catch Winter Wyvern in the back line. They'll get the Yule Scepter, a lot of protection for Chalice with the reinitiation. Now, with the Hoop Storm, with the control, they're gonna be able to bring him down. He doesn't have buyback as well, but in the meantime, Arme, space in the back line. Finds Karka with the follow-up, and IG, no buybacks. This could just be game. They've got the Repair Kit to help out. Fly Fly is going to try and push out the wave here. Doesn't have Shadow Dancer, no BKB, so they can definitely kill him. But you see how slow they push the base. We went for the damage, so the smoke screen cooldown. Okay. Somnus has this level 25 as well. Tier 2 has been taken. IG now under threat of being mega crept, creeped, crept. Boards. Long zip. Once again, Emo's gonna get found. JT with the initiation. However, they will get the Winter's Curse as well, providing him a little bit of space. Emo's gonna be fine in Storm's Fruit. Nice save from FY. Can he get this away for the last second? He will be able to with the BKB. However, Chalice reinitiating. He's gonna go back forward. He's got the Bloodstone heal. JT, they do have a couple of buybacks coming through. However, it isn't enough. Army inside the base. He's got the Aegis for another 20 seconds here. Emo will rejoin them, but it looks like Radiant, they're going to try and dip out. However, Fly Fly, pounce up in a couple of seconds. Emo's used a lot of remnants now. They've got to be careful if they get caught out here. This could be a dieback instead on the backline. Arme finds the Wyvern. Turn his attention to Karka, but a is going to be able to prevent this. Slark stuck on the high gun. He's got another pounce after. Aegis will get claim. Storm Spirit, he's got the mana to zip in, but is he close enough, however? Disruption protection. They need to find the Shadow Demon to prevent this, however. But looks like he will be fine. Chellis doesn't find anyone. Ricky getting controlled. Do they have the damage potential to find Arme? They do. Dead for 100 seconds. Fly Fly full incredibly low, though. There's a buyback coming through, but he can only tip it to the shrine. They'll find the Slark. Somnus with that extra mana pool. Ricky does buy back, however. And you see, that's Dire. They have to do the same thing with FY. The amount of disruption saves that he's able to provide this game.
has been through the roof. FY is keeping the cause alive for so incredibly darn long. Get forward with the inch ball set up. They're going to be able to find Kaka here. Conan brace actually onto JT. He doesn't get the call off. Miss execution coming in from the winter wyvern, however, with the winter curse ready and waiting. Storm Spirit used a lot of his mana, how he's got to be careful the BKB on cooldown, but once again the disruption isn't enough, however, JT's already used to call out, but Storm Trooper gonna control it with the burst coming through from Karka, he's down, dead for 120 seconds, they find Chalice as well, but where's the 4 up? Fly Fly? Radiant, they will be able to disengage, Storm, this is the first death after that buyback about 20 minutes ago. Very close to it at least, but next Roshan's gonna be the key one. I might lose the... Oh, it's Dyer's crew, actually, never mind, Radiant. Chalice is gonna TP aggressive here. I want to see Radiant get a gem. These initiations, the vision right now is so important from both the teams. Chalice is by himself, but he does have reinforcements coming in the area. Chalice, two-man initiation. Where does he power? But they don't have to follow, but it looks like JT is going to be able to find FY. The, the burst coming through from the Luke and a Blade, but the Ghost Scepter provides him a little bit of protection with the disruption coming through as well. Slark on top of Chalice. Meanwhile, up to the north. However, they do have Storm back up. FY will end up falling. It's a two-for-one in the meantime, but Chalice has got the control over to the Slark. However, the Zip, they'll be able to bring him down. Slark, no buyback. They find Emo as well, but the Blood so inactive, but he's all up to his loans himself. Dead for 120. They don't have buyback. Can they end it though? Slark, buyback up in 5 minutes 20. Ember in 320. You saw, I mean, JT did exactly what he had to do. Get on top of FY. They almost brought him down. But Chellis found two heroes in the backline, so it stopped that damage from coming through. And now they'll drop the Gs. Not enough protection coming through. Unfortunately. And LGD, they are going to be able to take game one. I mean, it was looking a little rough for a period of time. But it felt like they just, the execution throughout the fights. I mean, I love the way Arme played. They're going <laughs> to, they're just going to Ricky again. They would just last pick Ricky again. So the hero doesn't flash farm, and if you fall behind, it's going to be so difficult to come back. But, Ricky potentially may be able to this game if if IG can't put the pressure on fast, and we've seen Brewmaster as well. This hero is... F5? Maybe fine, it looks like. Chalice is going to take a crap load of damage though. They've got the essence, and with the slow, one more right click, they'll get it from Oli. First that Arctic Burn taking down the tanky tide. Doesn't get the perma Agi though from Fly Fly. So they get two kills at the top side. They'll get rid of the tri lane to start, but I mean, you, this is the issue with going Gush level one. Like, yes, they have so much minus armor coming through with the Blightstone and the Gush, but your Fly Fly, he's got a bunch of essence right now. They're going to be careful. He's close to level two as well. They might be able to get this soon enough. Fly Fly though, all forward. F5 is going to find a kill here, so pretty big. That's a lot of gold as well, 255. Little advantage you get in the lane. A small little timing. That's pretty nice, a regen. Unfortunately, it did just sell. I want to see how this... I mean, still very intrigued on the Ricky. You know, worked out last game somehow, to be honest, but... Tell us, going to try and man fight with Fly Fly here. They have the damage potential coming through, and it looks like they do. The creeps actually going to help out there, so if they do trade, however... Slark... Up to two perma Agi now. Oh, Oli. Arctic Burn. They got the blink to be able to follow up, and it looks like Army gonna net himself potentially. Oh, tricks of the trade. We'll find the kill. Wyvern. Tried to go for the Corey. Looks like he won't, unfortunately, get it. Surprised FY is actually not pulling the wave. But a lot of damage already. Silence. Slark. I just got a point available if he wants to pick up the pounce here. He might be forced to do it. By flight. Straight on top of the creep wave though, but it looks like he will be fine. Karkar's rotating the area as well, so he does have a little bit of protection, but Shadowfin's gonna join them at this top side. Level four, so two points in the raises. Karkar, incredibly weak. Fly Fly will be able to solve up as well to help out with the fight. FY is gonna drop. And Emo with this haste should be able to close the distance again on top of the small raise. That's massive for the Shadowfin. Double kill for Emo. That's actually so, so huge. I mean, I guess if he... If he dewards it instantly, then they're probably gonna know there's a ward in the area, though. Armor. 
There's no protection mid lane though. Emo's gonna try and TP out. Won't be able to enough damage, so. Ricky being left solo. Looks like not providing too much space, but Ollie without the corner brace can't really rotate and help out too much versus the Shadow Fiend. And Kaka will run into X Nova though. Give him a couple of log taps. There's no real support coming through him with the slope. Ooh, I mean, he's. I don't think. Can't X Nova TP out? Oh, I guess he does have the hex, never mind. We're in a bit of a tricky spot now. Hopefully, Viper can rotate over fast enough. It looks like X Nova. They got the stun fall up once again. At least the Frost Shield blocks a little bit of the physical damage, but X Nova is going to end up dropping here. Arme's going to join him in the afterlife as well down the bottom side, so they are able to bring him down. Chalice has had an incredible time up in this matchup, and now X Nova's going to try and TP out. He will be successful. There's no way to cancel this one. They do have Ravage available. Fly Fly Fall incredibly low. Look at the Ravage follow-up silence as well, so Slark won't be able to pounce away. Now Kaka might be under threat as well. Doesn't have enough for the Gush. A little bit of movement speed should be enough for the Brewmaster to be able to disengage away from the Ricky. So, I mean, they force out the ultimate now on cooldown. So it's going to make this lane a little bit more harder for JT to play as aggressive. Apologies, mid lane. They'll blow up FY Kaka with a finger of death. I I do. All right. I mean, I wonder if he goes for the life still then. I've seen a lot of dragon lance oh, smoke. We have a find up here. Dust for the vision. They blow up Arme. Nice smoke rotation. Radiant. They're going to make their own happen though. Dai should well be aware of this with no anyone protecting Arme down. But this is going to be super nice. You know, if you do get that hex onto the pocket, it's going to be a great way to bring him down because the hex, it has no cast animation. It's an instant lockdown to have the follow up. Radiant. They're going to group up bot as well. Chellis. With the hood. And this ultimate is incredibly tanky, but do I have a nice ward in the back line as well? They know there's no reinforcements in the area at the moment. They're going to run straight into the Viper, however. Somnus going to get bursted down to start the fight. They chuck out a couple of ultimates as well, but it's not going to be enough to keep them alive. Emo, fresh BKB. They have to set up with the Requiem, that fear drag back. Will be enough to find FY. A nice fight for Invictus Gaming. They chuck out a couple of ultimates. So it's kind of just the farm game right now, and I'm... Ricky, he's got this Battle Fury still queued up as well. He's still farming really well. Fine. The Slark here. They need the Sinister Gaze to drag him back to the Silence. And X Nova's going to grant that. The one to wish. And they'll get it. Really nice play from them. He does have the Dark Pack maxed out. But I'm going to try and make a move throughout the jungle. Where's the Vision coming through? How has he got no Shadow Dance? Roche though. Like they're gonna force this. Emo's got a double damage rune, however. Shadow Blade. They'll find the line. Corner Brace. A little bit of protection. Puck will get caught, but where's the fall power? Fly Fly in the back line. It looks like they should be able to bring him down. Once again, this is what we spoke about. They are able to deal with the Puck with the Winter Wyvern and the Lion. Really nice play from them. Somnus has committed for the Aghanims as well, so. I mean. You don't see the Ags too often. Which is why I'm questioning it. Does have this 9 second BKB. They've got an outpost as well before the 20 minute interval. LGD, they're going to try and protect this. Ravage ready and waiting. IG, looks like they will be able to get it. No, the core is going to break it on the back line. Ravage, they're going to try and blow up the Brewmaster before he gets the ultimate. And they will be able to. They still at least get the outpost. They're going to get the experience coming through from it as well. Chellis falling low. The Fuse is going to get purged off thanks to the Kraken shell help. But Ricky's going to control the blink fall. Kaka, they've got the follow up with the finger of death. And it looks like Arme is going to get brought down. Emo, Requiem of Souls, Fears and back to base. And FY, he's got the jaunt. Able to make it further away. But now with the Aegis on cooldown. Emo as well. Sinisuke's back. Somnus still. They haven't dealt with the Viper. It's just so much damage. A chalk up the curse. It's just not a lot of damage. It is good setup though for the Kaka stun. Flyfly is going to think about reinitiating as well, but the Viper Strike Somnus. He's got this Aghanim, and Flyfly can't disengage. He's got no mobility at the moment. They're going to chase him down with the slows, and they're still caught in. Dire, they TP in to try and take the fight. There's no blinks, however. The Nether Toxin cooldown is incredibly long, but they're going to try and smoke up top here. LGD. Two heroes in the vicinity. They can find Arme. Uh oh, it's going to be careful. Blink fall. They'll get the vision coming through. X Nova's going to try and protect him with the chain frost. They won't be able to pop the line. Nice protection with the corner brace, however. Lich will fall to start. Arme still dusted up. He's got another blink strike available. The dust is going to wear off as well. 
Ollie's got sentry. Now the dust is available. I'll drop it on top of the wave. He's going to try and turn on the Shadow Fiend, but the curse will be able to prevent that. Emo's got the follow up. And they're going to be able to bring down Army. A lot of commitment for this, though. I don't think they needed the Requiem. But they've, they've done that twice now. I think you can just follow up with the finger and. Tide's in a very nice spot to be able to pop the smoke with the observable, but they're going to go the long way here. Smoke will pop. Chelsea has the blink. Very good vision in the area. JT's got his own blink as well, but they're all grouping up. Chalice, if he wants to ravage, how but... Initiation forward. Ravage onto two. FY, they're going to try and blow up the Winter Wyvern to start the fight. A lot of the save coming through and lockdown. X over crit from the Shadow Fiend. Going to be able to burst him, but Armour's going to show up to the fight, however. Viper, not going to be tanky to Fly Fly. Gets on top of him with the Slark. Chalice off to the side. All that men are going to be drained, and it looks like LGD. They hang around. They might be able to kill Slark, however. Doesn't have the Shadow Dance, no BKB for the protection as well. Emo's still ready and waiting with the ultimate. And somehow, Chel I mean, this is the hero with the Tidehunter. He's just so tanky. They're going to smoke up again. They're going to link down to the bottom side, FY. Ready and waiting. Fly, fly. Hanging around for the meantime, Diet. I have a couple heroes in the area without the T1 tower to rotate to. He's already used the Dark Pack as well, so Fly, fly. To pounce, but it's not going to be enough to be able to protect him. Can't pop that coil. That's a better smoke. You got to be careful and die, man. Radiant have so much AoE to take the fight in Roshan, and if they group up, Ravage, Chain Frost, Coil could be a disaster here. They're going to smoke up. No one's beating into Roche, but the Blink Fall to find the puck. Where's the protection coming through? How with the finger of death? They're not going to be able to burst him down. FY somehow still alive. They're fighting on top of the Shrine, but Fly Fly falling incredibly low. Still got the BKB for protection. He's going to find X Nova to start the fight, however. Does have a buyback if he wants to rejoin them. Tide Hunter getting controlled. Winter's Curse off on the side, however. Armee, they're stacking up the essence as well. Gets the tricks of the trade. Ravage on the high ground, but it's only onto the Slark. However, the ultimate is about to expire. They have the fall up. FY cleans him up with the waning rip. The crits are going to be able to bring him down without the BKBs. Somnus straight on top of him. LGD, this is like looking like an incredible fight for them. They're going to continue the chase as well. FY drops the call onto two. IG, can they disengage, however, just cut their losses, and looks like the answer's gonna be no. Brug will drop, Wyvern will join him. That's the fight you want from LGD. And once you kite out the BKB, the Shadow Dance, Slark, he has no mobility, not having the Ags picked up. I'm surprised he actually, so with the ultimate, I, I thought you kind of max out agility, that Agi damage multiplier. But it looks like this he's gone nullifier a lot of times. I mean, it does work really well with the hero of one lane. Coil dropped, Emo. Forced to pop the BKB. It's rid of that coil, at least. But now with the Viper strike, they're making a lot of space. Fly, fly. A double kill for the top. FY is going to have to follow up as well. Force up with the higher gun. But the Spirit Vessel, is it enough damage over time? FY is still going to try and find the kill. And Chalice will be able to claim that. A quick blink forward. They don't have the Ravage to cancel it. Probably don't want to even use it on the Winter Wyvern. But what a fight, man. And I die. I mean, they're down 14,000 gold all of a sudden. This is going to be a full lane of racks for them to lose. And they've still got ages for another two minutes. Shadow Fiend is about to respawn. They have everything over on Dire apart from the Shadow Dance. Link forward, flying. Going to be food for the Ricky here. They're going to be able to find the kill. Fly flies. Well, we'll get brought down with the BKB. No protection. He doesn't have a buyback as well. Winter's Curse does hold up the Viper. Controlling up the Tidehunter as well. But Emo doesn't have the full souls coming through. The Requiem's not going to do a lot of damage. Tower. They find Somnus. Buyback's available. He's got the Booster Tower to rejoin the fight as well. Ravage finds the Shadow Fiend. Controlled up. If he ends up falling here, I don't think he has buyback. And Chalice, he's got the heals coming through. But it is enough somehow alive. That Death Requiem won't bring him down. Now the Brewmaster going toe to toe. But it's just himself. And IG, they tap out. The Gs are dropped, and LGD. A very, very easy 2 0 for them. 33 minutes in. Looked a little rough yesterday into Vici Gaming. But, I mean, the Ricky Maru. Wow. I still can't say how well this hero is because I feel like it's just so reliant on the draft from IG, but. I just didn't feel the slark this game. 